Now that we've published our web map to ArcGIS Online, we can go ahead and hop into Experience Builder and create a new project. So we'll just create a blank full screen project. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the map widget, bring that in. Um, this is just a design choice, so I'm going to just expand it to cover the entire project. That is completely up to you. We need to select our map. Um, we're going to go down here and we're going to add new data. So this is the web map that we published. So once that pops up, we actually need to click on it to engage the map. I'm going to go down here and just uh, turn a few things off. I'm going to just switch my layout, complete preference. Uh, next, I'm going to grab the widget controller. So this is just how I'm deciding to contain all the widgets in this map. Again, uh, just a, a personal design choice. So I'm going to choose that I want to be able to open multiple widgets. Um, there's some things down here, tool tips, labels that you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and add the first widget, which is going to be our network trace. So you just grab the widget and you place it over the widget controller. And now you can see it pops up here. So a couple more things you can, this is the icon as a circle. You can make the icon as a square. I like it if it's a little bit larger. Um, you can, the spacing between it, um, we'll see that in a second. Um, if you click on the utility network trace, now you can see it's blank because we need to associate it with the map. If you do not have a trace configuration published in your map, it will tell you that you do not have a map with uh, the correct parameters. So that's basically all you need to do to set up the utility widget. And so let's go ahead and add a couple more. So just for informational purposes, I'm just going to add the legend. And again, these all need to be hooked up to the map. I'm just going to add some map layers. And these can be moved around. You just move them here. Again, we kind of we can decide how much space we want between them. And let's go ahead and add our last widget, which is going to be this table widget here. So we can go ahead and click on the table widget. We're going to do a new sheet. We're going to select our data. So now you'll see why I chose to break these into groups because I just want to see the service connections. So one thing we want to make sure we do is it's, it's uh, listed as the default and we want this to be selected features. Otherwise we won't have any uh, of the data change when we run our trace. So we'll choose selected features. Um, the default is, is displaying all 50 fields. So if you go in here, you can easily just clear out the selection and then choose what you want. So I don't need asset group, but I, I might do asset type here. I'm going to go down, uh, decide what other fields I want. We'll do install date, asset ID, and then we'll go ahead and do location description. going to want to make sure that we save. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to um, display some dynamic text. So we're going to locate our text widget and we're going to bring this up here. So I'm just going to also um, add this as a title. So I'm going to double click in here and just call this network trace. To do that, we'll go white. I'm going to style this, get a little bit of color. I'm going to choose background. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll just make that match. Underneath here, I'm going to type in service connections, but I want this to be a little bit smaller. So we'll do that. At 20 and I don't want that to be bold and then underneath that I'm going to do gravity main 
Okay. So what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to want to hook this up to my data. So going back to content, I'm going to connect to the data. And for service connections, I'm going to select data. And again, this is why I grouped it. So um, you can create views. So if I had just brought this in and didn't create these groups and just had the devices, I could have created a view and said, you know, asset group equals manhole channel. But what I wouldn't be able to do is have those that count change because I need to to choose selected features. So there's not a way to do both. So I really needed these in groups so that I could pull out the service connections. So I'm going to click on service connections. Again, I need the selected features. So I'm going to check that and I'm going to uncheck the default at that. And then I'm going to click in here and this is the dynamic content. So I'm going to go into expression. So I'm going to change this from expression one and I'm going to place a zero in here. And that's because if you don't place a zero in there, you're going to get some funky expression when there are no records available. So putting zero in there will put the count down at zero. I'm going to click functions. I'm just going to do a count and I'm going to put my cursor in between the parentheses and I'm going to choose my field as the object ID and I'm going to insert that in there. Now I want to change that so I'm going to make that bigger we'll change that color to white and bold and then next let's pull this down a little bit more here we'll go ahead and do the same thing so I can select my data I can decide to go to lines here and let's just do gravity main so I'm going to I've got select oops there we go. We'll do selected features. I will click that. Gravity main selected features. I'm going into my expression. I'm going to put zero in there again. Clicking functions. This time I'm going to do sum. Place my cursor in the parentheses and I'm going to do the shape length field. And insert that. Again, making that a little bit bigger. Click Save. And now we're ready to test things out. So we're going to go ahead and click on our utility network trace. You can easily adjust this window. You can move it around. Um, just take a look at this. We can see here's the one that I had already published and the one that we did in the demo. Those are our different trace uh, types that are available to us. So I'm going to choose, I'm just going to choose an upstream trace and let's just zoom into an area. Here we go. We'll click this and we'll go ahead and drop our point. We have that green circle and we're ready to run it. And now you can see my dynamic text, nine service connections, you know, roughly 10,000 feet of gravity main. And we can also explore our features this way too. We see we have nine service connections um, that drills down. You can zoom into individual ones. Um, if we go ahead and open our table, again, we can expand our table. There's currently a bug that has been reported with Esri. So you can see now it turned from the description to the code here, which doesn't give us a whole lot of information unless we've memorized the code. However, when you do go to export this, so if we'll just do export to CSV, um, in the CSV file, um, it does open with the actual description versus the code in here. So um, that has been reported to S3. So that is uh, Experience Builder's Utility Network Trace with additional widgets.